Today, I want to share with you how to get the Suica card on your smartphone and how to actually use it when you are in Japan. I'm going to share with you two ways of setting up the Suica card on your phone, one without a card number and one with a card number in case you want to link it with your bullet train tickets. And I'm also addressing the pros and cons of each way so that you know which way works best for you. Let's dive right in. In Japan, an IC card is a prepaid rechargeable card that allows you to put your money in and use it to pay for tickets of the trains, buses, subways, taxis, and so many other things. You can use it to pay at vending machines, coin lockers, convenience stores, drug stores, shops, restaurants, etc. And not just in Tokyo, Kyoto, or Osaka, you can use it almost anywhere in Japan that applies the IC card system. In terms of making, basically there are two options of the IC cards. You can get a real physical card or a digital card on your phone. If you are a visitor to Japan and prefer to use a physical card, you can get an IC card for visitors, either the Welcome Suica card or the PASMO passport card. These are the two IC cards that were created for visitors to Japan. But please keep in mind that these two cards are non-refundable and only valid for 28 days. So don't top up a lot of money to Please these cards because if you card. don't use up all the money you have on the cards, you're now gonna lose profit. your money on day 29 Everything automatically. That's how these cards work. Another way to use an IC card in Japan is to get one on your phone. Physical or digital, function-wise, they are all the same. And there are two ways to install Japan's IC card on your phone. The first way is via the Apple Wallet app if you use iPhone and via the Google Pay app if you use an Android phone. And the second way to get Japan's IC card on your phone is via the Suica app. Now, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step demonstrations of both ways on iPhone, but it's going to be similar if you use an Android phone. First of all, in order to use an IC card on your phone, you need to have a credit card or a debit card set up in your Apple Wallet. And I found it smoother to have this set up beforehand. So go to your Apple Wallet and add a card by tapping the plus button. Select credit or debit card and follow the instruction to add your card. After you successfully add your credit card, it will be shown in your Apple Wallet like this. This is the credit card I added to my Apple Wallet. Now let's add the Suica card to Apple Wallet. Open your Apple Wallet and add a card by tapping the plus button. This time, select Transit Card and search for Suica and select the Suica card in Japan. Then select the amount of money you want to add to the card. Let's say we add 1000 yen, which is about six or seven US dollars then you have to read and agree to their terms and conditions and then select the credit card or debit card that you already registered in the first step and double click on the side button of your iPhone to charge 1000 yen to the Suica card. So that's how you add the Suica card to your Apple Wallet. You can use this card to get on buses, subways, commuter trains like the Yamanote line, etc but you cannot use this card to link with your Shinkansen tickets because it doesn't have a card number. In order to get a Suica card with a card number, you need to apply the second way. That is adding a Suica card via the Suica app. First, you need to download the app. 
So go to the Apple App Store, look for the Suica Finance app that is developed by East Japan Railway Company and download the app. This app is currently only available in Japanese. So I'm gonna use Google Translate to show you side by side with my phone screen so that it's easier to follow along. When you first open the app, this is what you see. Tap on the Suica issue to start the process. You'll see three options of the Suica card that you can choose from. The first one is My Suica, which is a Suica card with your name registered to it. The second one is the Suica Commuter Pass. And the last one is the Suica without your name registered to it. We're gonna select My Suica card because if there is something happens to your card, you'll have the information to ask JR to terminate the card. Next, click on Member Registration, read and agree to their terms and conditions, and then provide your email address. A confirmation code will be sent to that email address that you provided. Enter that confirmation code here to move on to the next step. You'll need to create a password for your account on this Suica app. Then choose a name that you want to be shown on the card. Next, provide your name, birthday, gender, postal code, and phone number. After confirming all the information, you can move on to the next step where you can select the amount of money you want to charge to the card. Let's say we select 2000 yen which is about 14 US dollars. Then tap on payment method and select Apple Pay. Double click on the side button and enter your phone passcode to allow the payment. After the payment is successfully completed, the next step is to add the Suica card to Apple Pay wallet so that you can use the card to pay. And this is the card that we just added in the Suica app. If you tap on the card, you can see the card information, including the card number. And if you open your Apple Wallet now, you should also see the Suica card that you just added. So now you know the two ways of getting a Suica card on your phone. If you get the Suica card via Apple Wallet, it's faster, easier, and you don't need to register any information. But it doesn't have a card number. If you get the card via the Suica app, it takes longer time and you have to register a lot of information, but it has a card number. So what's the benefit of having a card with a card number? Basically, there are two benefits. The first one is accumulating points that can be used as money to pay at all the shops and places within the JR East network. And the second one is the ability to link with bullet train tickets. That way, you don't need to print out the Shinkansen tickets and just use your Suica card on your phone to tap at the Shinkansen ticket gate to get through. So which way is right for you? If you live in Tokyo areas, consider getting the Suica card via the Suica app. And if you travel to Japan, consider getting the Suica card via the Apple Wallet or Google Wallet. Even if you can't link Shinkansen tickets to the Suica card, you can still reserve the Shinkansen tickets online early to get a discount and just print out the Shinkansen tickets right at the Shinkansen station before boarding the train. It only takes a few seconds using a QR code that you'll get after purchasing online. By the way, if you add a Japan's IC card via Apple Wallet, there are three options. Suica card, Pasmo card, and Ikoka card. Function-wise, they are all the same. They are just marketed by different companies. 
The PASMO card is issued by the PASMO company, which is a company jointly owned by 11 railway operators and 19 bus operators in Tokyo areas. And the Ikoka card is issued by the JR West company, which operates in Osaka and Kyoto areas. And the Suica card is issued by the JR East company, which operates in Tokyo areas. So you can choose either of them because the function is the same and the usage network is the same. You can use them anywhere in Japan using the same IC card system. Whichever card you choose, the best practice in my opinion is to just top up the amount of money you need to the card because refunding the remain balance is quite complicated. If you want to zero out the card, you can ask a cashier staff anywhere to use up all the money on the card and pay the rest in cash. Well, that's it for today's topic. This video is not sponsored. It's just my personal thoughts and I hope you find it useful. Don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel it will help me continue to make more videos like this. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Until next time, take care and have a nice day.